hint when you finally do we get to hear the other side of the story you want to say it's in bad taste or blackballing it might be just in bad taste the motherfucker lying on you hey is that bad taste i don't know what the fuck happened but there are all type of scenarios everybody ain't ready but somebody gotta leave the sheep The words of the jungle, jungle. Like gorillas, lions and tigers and bears, oh my, hey, look out for service and take, watch out for quick and make sure you break, the world is a jungle, lions and tigers and bears, oh my, lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Yes, it's Young Co. Probably about to tell you something you already know. Something that's been on my mind, bothering me for a little bit, um... It got to do with this little messy ass situation that's going on in the hip hop culture right now between um, Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion. And I guess the best friend and the security guard, the pistol, the couple bullets, the glass. Who knows what the fuck happened? I don't know. All I'm hearing is he saying, she saying. That's the motherfucking problem because everybody picking sides. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's a human tendency. Everybody love to pick sides and, you know, choose whose side they going to be on, virtue signaling and all that type of shit. You know what I mean? I, I just want to be on the side of right, you scary motherfuckers. But um, truth be told, Tory Lanez ain't been charged with shit besides um, a firearm. You know what I mean? You know, uh, possession. Of a legal firearm like I think that's what it was But he ain't been char charged with no type of assault Or anything of that nature I said that to say that Motherfuckers is acting like They know for sure he did this shit You know what I'm saying Just because Megan St Stallion said that he did this shit Which is usually a dead giveaway That a motherfucker get did some shit Until You add up all the facts You know what I'm saying when you add up all the facts, you kind of be like, ain't too many times somebody, whether it's a man or a woman, right, going to get shot, go to the hospital for being shot. And then the person who went to jail the same night for having a gun in the same vehicle was them is not charged with any type of assault, assault with a deadly weapon, you know what I mean, attempted murder, like, that could be a lot of motherfucking charges, a lot of serious-ass charges that we throwing up on Tory Lanez, you know what I mean, and we don't really know shit, but he say, she say, you know what I mean, all we really know for sure is that Tory Lanez went to jail, motherfucking Megan Stallion went to the hospital, in between that, we don't know shit, gotta keep it real, and it's innocent till proven guilty, I bring that up to say this. I bring that up to say this. Tory Lanez is already being blackballed. Me personally, I think it's okay to blackball motherfucker, depending on, you know, what the fuck happened. For instance, um, just to, you know, make a comparison, right? Um, somebody like uh, Chris Brown. Remember Chris Brown put his hands on, on uh, Rihanna, right? That was a few years back. Maybe y'all too young to remember that. You know what I mean? But that happened. Yeah. Chris Brown supposedly beat the shit out of Rihanna in a motherfucking limo. Right? Now, me, um, I don't think that shit right at all. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened. It ain't, my, ain't none of my business in the long run. That's why I'm able to say, like, I don't think a motherfucker should get blackballed for making a mistake like that. You know what I mean? Like, that's a mistake. Shit happens. You should not take away a motherfucker's whole career based on one moment in their life. You feel what I'm saying? Bam. Now, we could go to somebody else, right? We could go to somebody else, another entertainer. Very, very, very great singer, songwriter, R. Kelly. Ain't nobody got to tell me to blackball R. Kelly. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody had to. You don't have to stop playing him on the radio. You don't have to stop playlisting that motherfucker. He piss on kids and, you know, control little girls' minds and all that type of shit. Um, you deserve everything you get. Like, if they throw you under the jail, I don't give a fuck. And you show ain't going to get no play in my whip. You did. No play in my house. You did. You deserve to be blackballed. See, I don't, I don't know if y'all get that. But that, that was my um, example for, you know, why somebody should be blackballed, why somebody shouldn't be blackballed. 
I said all, all that to say this, right? Um, Tory Lanez don't need to be blackballed. It's unfair to somebody like Tory Lanez. Let's take it away from Tory Lanez. Just being honest, being totally honest, right? I don't agree with 6 9 I think that nigga's a straight up bitch. He don't deserve to live. He's one of the, like, the worst type of people that you could be on the planet. You know what I mean? He's one of the worst type of people. Like, to me, a rat is worse than a killer. Because I could think of a lot of reasons why I would want to kill a motherfucker. But I can't think of a lot of reasons why I'm going to kick it with you, chill with you, then go rat on you. You know what I mean? Like, we do some shit together and I'm just going to go rat on you? Like, I, I, can't, I can't condone that shit. That shit's stupid. You know what I mean? That shit is stupid, unheard of. You know what I mean? But! We talking about jobs here, right? We ain't talking about street code. We ain't talking about ethics or anything. We just talking about somebody's job and livelihood. I'm not sure that Takashi Six Nine ever did anything to be blackballed. Um, as a consumer, right? As a consumer, I was never uh buying that nigga music or listening to that nigga music anyway. You know what I mean? As a consumer, as a person who you know, just goes and listens to music because that's what the fuck I like to do. I was never bumping 6 9 anyway, right? And after all the shit that happened with him over the past couple of years, there's no way that I ever would. But I do think it's dead ass wrong for somebody um, to just say, I'm not going to distribute your music or have your music on my platform. When technically... Takashi 69 did nothing wrong. Ethically, he did. Street code wise, he did. Like, if you a real nigga, you can't you can't condone that shit. But now, if you're a motherfucking corporation, you ain't got shit to do with that. You see, you see what I'm saying? So now, getting back to Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez dropped a dope ass album called Daystar. I don't know if y'all listen to it, but it is what it is. Now, if Tory Lanez shot Megan Thee Stallion. For any reason. I can't think of a good reason why he would do it. That's why it's so yucky yucky in my motherfucking head, if you get what I'm saying. But if Corey, if Tory Lanez shot Megan Thee Stallion for any reason, he dead ass wrong. And he deserves to go to jail. You know what I mean? He deserves to get his ass whooped. He deserves to get shot back. I feel all of that type of shit. But the thing I'm trying to get is, we don't even know if he did it. This is innocent till proven guilty. So, so... Just because a motherfucker say some shit now? Like, I remember motherfucker say, uh, motherfucking, um, chick said Tupac raped her. We believe that shit? Just because she said it? Do you believe that shit? I'm just asking. You believe that shit? Um, same thing happened to, like, uh, Mike Tyson. I don't believe that shit. I don't believe Mike Tyson. I believe there's some truth to what they say about Bill Cosby. But I don't believe he drugged all them bitches. With that being said, I know this is a totally different circumstance. You know what I mean? They are both stars in their own right. Megan is probably the bigger star. I would say that Tori is um, the bigger, the better artist. You know what I mean? Um, but with all that being said, um, I do think it's very, very wrong to treat somebody as if you know they're as guilty when... Um, you only heard one side of the story. And then t when you finally do, we get to hear the other side of the story. You want to say it's in bad taste or blackballing. It might be just in bad taste to motherfucking lying on you. Hey. Is that bad taste? I don't know what the fuck happened. But there are all types of scenarios. Like, for instance, it sounds just as absurd to me. It sounds just as absurd to me that Tory Lane's would shoot Megan as it does that Megan Stallion would lie about getting shot by Tory Lanez. Like I'm not saying like it's impossible, but if this if it's possible for Tory Lanez to shoot Megan Thee Stallion twice in the feet, right, for an argument or whatever the, whatever it was possibly over, who who knows? You know what I mean? If if that like if you can wrap your mind around that, you should also be able to wrap your mind around the fact that motherfucker could lie. Motherfucker shoot themselves in the feet and need, need a scapegoat. You never know. You never know. But I say it's a lot of fucking mystery going on between this. She sure didn't want to tell it, tell the police what the fuck happened. Her best friend don't want to speak up on it. You don't hear a security guard speaking up on it. Like, who knows something? 
It seemed like the only two people that know anything are Tori and Megan. And I'm going to tell you like this. It ain't hard for to f find out the truth. Like people are like, like, for instance, like, I don't know. Like, it's not hard to find out the truth. Like, you know what I mean? Like people want to, when they got the truth, truth, people want to talk about that. You know what I mean? Like people want to put that out there. You know what I mean? So only thing I'm going to say is, I don't know who right. I don't know who wrong. I think both of them motherfuckers got a lot to hide on both sides. With that being said, hit the comment box. Like, subscribe. Holla at your boy. It's Young Co. Just telling you shit you already know.